And welcome back to Midday, everybody. I am live in St. George in Southern Utah on this Thursday. I'm at Dixie Technical College and I'm sitting by the president. This is Kelly Stevens. And I know the doors aren't open to the right. college right now, to the public, but students are still here. What's changed during the pandemic? We had to close for a short time because um, technical education really doesn't work online. You have to be present. You have to be able to get your hands on equipment and, and uh, develop those skills to use that equipment. And so we were really happy when we got to come back to school. Uh, first of May, we started bringing students back and um, we're not open to the public yet. Hope to do that in June with a soft opening, but we've got students here busy um, becoming the next generation of essential workers. Essential workers, what type of things are they studying here? Well, they study all kinds of things that we take for granted every day. And you know, as I think as our society, we just expect the good life and we take it for granted until we don't have it. So um, we want to be comfortable indoors, warm in the winter, cool in the summer, and we have HVAC technician training here. Uh, we expect that our personal transportation works. So we have uh, auto tech and we have collision repair. Um, we expect that when we go to the store, the stores are fully stocked. That happens because there are diesel truck drivers, commercial drivers, and there are diesel technicians that keep those trucks on the road. We expect well-supported medical care, and we have programs for practical nurses, certified nurse assistants, medical assistants, pharmacy technicians. Those are the people that support our medical community and they're, they are very, very essential. These are the doers in They are. Country. They are absolutely, These are the helpers absolutely that we are all the relying doers, on yeah. so heavily right now. Absolutely. How long are the programs and how easy is it to be accepted to the technical college? Oh, we have a process. You have to, you have to meet some certain criteria to, in order to be able to be accepted into the programs. But getting in is, is very doable. Um, and, and then once you're in, programs take a year, give or take a few months on either end, depending on what you choose. So, and what differentiates us from traditional tech, uh, higher education, where they go broad, we go very deep. And so a student will come and spend that year really focusing on what it is they want to learn, and they learn all about it. They learn to become competent in it, and then they go out and get great jobs. Our students also graduate debt-free which we think is a huge, huge deal. Yeah. That is huge yeah. right there, debt yep, free. They're passionate bet. about what they're studying. I'm passionate about the location. We're on the bluff <laughs> in St. George. There's a beautiful view everywhere you look. There is. There's Dixie Technical College, everybody. For more information, do go to our website and we'll link you at abc4.com slash midday. Kelly, thank you so much thank for Thank you so us. much. Appreciate you.